Good evening, I'm Jill Bell. And I'm Dennis Bragg. An icon of the film and ski community has passed away. Warren Miller died at the age of 93 in Washington at his home on Orcas Island. MTN's Connor McCauley has more on his connection to Western Montana. Thanks, Jill and Dennis. Warren Miller's first feature film, Deep and Light, was released in 1950. Since then, the filmmaker has been an icon around the world and especially here in Montana. His films have captured the beauty of Montana and films like No Turning Back featured footage from Discovery and Lost Trail. Miller also appeared in one of his more recent films, Here, There and Everywhere, which featured Turner Mountain and Sealy Lake. Along with making films in Western Montana, Miller also made many a movie premiere right here in Missoula at the Wilma Theater. Miller's love for Montana revolved around its great skiing, but also the freedom the state has to offer. Of all the places I've ever been, on skis with my camera, I settled in Montana. I think it revolves around that simple word called freedom. And the state is so big that, you know, you spin around in a 360 and there's freedom in every direction. Miller made more than 500 films in his career before selling his company to his son, who later sold it to Time Incorporated. A memorial service is planned in Big Sky next week, but details are yet to be released. Back to you. All right, thank you, Connor. Miller's most recent film is called Line of Descent, and it featured many places in western Montana, including Whitefish, Turner Mountain near Libby, and Sealy Lake.